Man, Titan TV, Titan TV. Hey, what's up, my Titans? We back with some Mortal Kombat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rate their fiddle blow. Pretty much rate the super. And yes, man, we're gonna get started with Shang Tsung and Shao Kahn. Let me know where your favorite fighting games are and your favorite rate the supers is when we get done with this game. I got some Gotham Knights, I got some Mortal Kombat, God of War, I got some shorts in there for you guys, Spider-Man, Tekken 7, all of that's in there you guys, so make sure y'all go check that out. Alright, let's get started with the Fatal Blow you guys. Alright, Fatal Blow, Shang Tsung. I give Shang Tsung's probably like a, I give Shang Tsung, I give him like a 10. I like Shang Tsung's a lot. It incorporates a lot of his powers. He can pretty much shape shift to anyone he can to pretty much maim you and kill you. So yeah, I like Shang Tsung's a lot. All right, go. Shao Kahn. Hold up, y'all. All right, thanks for me, Shaka. All right, I give Shao Kahn's probably like an eight. It's, it's good for what it is, but. You know, it's Shao, it's Shao Kahn. Yeah, it's Shao Kahn, you know. It pretty much brings out that brute-like style he has with his hammer Fast. and, you know, yep. Night Wolf. A man, Night Wolf. The Hourglass. And Frost. Frost is actually one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite female characters in the Mortal Kombat series. Even though she was like a, pretty much a female Sub-Zero, you know. I like this still. All right, my girl Frosty. All right, I give Frost a nine. I like Frost a lot. It incorporates a lot of her abilities and how she can just maim you with anything pretty much Frost-like because, you know, that's what she does, man. And she's actually old OP in this game. She nice in this game anyway. All right, my man Nightwolf. I give Nightwolf a seven. Nightwolf seven for what it is. It's very brief, but it's cool at the same time. I like Nightwolf a lot. It's pretty cool. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe as well. I really, really appreciate that. Johnny Cage. Really would. Channel will grow and soar. We going. Rise and get some more videos going, man. All right, hold up. There we go. The Joker, the Prince of Crime, Crown Prince of Crime, the Joker. All right, based on how brutal this damn fatal blow is, bro, it's a fucking 10. I don't know how the hell he got up after that, but yeah, that's a 10. It's one of the most brutal ones in the game, actually. I don't understand it. <laughs> All 
All right, my man, Johnny Cage. My man Johnny Cage is probably like a, um, I give Johnny Cage a 9.5. He has a lot of personality into it. And he puts a lot of his like, pretty much cockiness into it too with the trophy. <laughs> that junk, that junk funny as hell. I don't got with y'all. But yeah, we got Sonya. Sonya. And. Cassie Cage. Stand down. Yep, we're gonna do Cassie and Sonya. <clears throat> I'm trying to go in order to do with this y'all that way. Everything will be aligned right. Black Market Alley. I'm tripping. What the fuck? There we go. All right, military badass, Sonya. All right, Sonya's, I give Sonya's 8.5. I like Sonya's a lot. It, she uses a drone, the drone like, you know, cat turn a lot in her um, move set and her fiddle blow as well. I understand how she get up after that, but you know, Mortal Kombat for you. <laughs> Yep, so pretty much a 9.8.5 for Sony. Can I say cage? Oh, damn, too far. Hold up, y'all. There we go. For me, I give Cassie's eight. I like Cassie's a lot. Incorporates her guns, her drone, and she uses a lot of um, personality into it as well. With her father's powers and incorporates the gun too a lot too. So I like it. Jax. Oh boy, here we go. Spawn. Special Forces Desert Command. We go, Jack. I ain't gonna count with you, Jax. This is like a ten out of ten for me. I, Jax actually has the favorite, the, my favorite fatal blow in the game. One of them, and I really love it. He beats the hell out of your ass for that. <laughs> your, your face, your your gut, then blast your, pretty much blast your face back with with the damn thumper. Man, that's that's brutal. I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's that's brutal as hell. All right, my man Spawn. Speaking of brutal, all right, Spawn's. Spawns for me is a 10 too. I actually like Spawns a lot. And I might be a little biased, but I love Spawn. I really do. I had a good childhood. Childhood, you know, liking the Spawn, cause he, you know, Spawn that dude, man, nice. Noob Cybot. So yeah, 10 for on Spawn. Shirai Ryu Fire Gun. Okay, we got Scorpion. Scorpion. 
All right, now, nah, like always, man, this man really go in on eyes. Uh, <laughs> they really gave Scorpion eye, some some eye fatal blows and X-rays between the last game and this game. Scorpion gets a good, he gets a good 9.5 for me. I like Scorpion a lot, and he my main character, so. Got new. Noob gets 8.5. I like Noobs a lot. I like how he incorporates the um the clone into the sickle with the drop kick. I don't know why I think of WWE when I see that drop kick what Noob does, but yeah, I give him a good 8.5. I like Noobs a lot. The Rocker. My man Baraka. Raiden. I want y'all to con um, post your comments in the chat if y'all. I want to know what, what y'all think about Raiden in this game. I really think they nerfed him a lot. They nerfed Raiden a lot in this game for some reason. He doesn't feel like, he doesn't really feel like Raiden. You know? He feel like another character, but yeah. All right, Barack Okay, we're hit. Well, Baraka's fatal blow. It starts off good, but then slacks off at the end. The same thing with uh, the same thing with um, I the on the the other Injustice games. A lot of the supers really just slacked off at the end, but they started off great. Hellboy started off like good, but just slacked off. It's just terrible. But I give Baraka's like a seven point five to eight. That's the only thing that gives me point. I get Ray. Raiden's got he got the least he's got the least my least favorite out, out of the um for the blow so far, honestly. He's like a six. I don't like Raiden's. It doesn't feel like Raiden. It, it doesn't feel like a Raiden super, but a Raiden fatal blow. I feel like another character. Well, yeah, Raiden gets a six. Jackie Briggs, Sub Zero. Black Dragon Fight Club. Oh, we got Jackie Briggs. All right, here we go. Okay, I love this a lot. The fact that she puts up a, sh a, a like a plasma like wall, shoots you, then the bullets come right back at you and ricochets off the damn board and hits you from behind, and then she does a super spin kick, bro. That shit's like a 9.5 to 10, but I love it. I love it so much, bro. And they made Jackie so much better than 10. All right, we got Sub-Zero. Again with, kind of again with Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero, they, they, it was too much axe pretty much, but they could have gave my man Sub-Zero something with his ice, or like incorporated some, some more stuff with the ice, bro. Instead of doing just a whole axe barrage, like, it doesn't really feel like a Sub-Zero fatal blow. I give, I give Sub-Zero like a 6.5 to a 7. It's really, it's average. It's mid. You know, it's high. You know? Kano. Kano. Cabal. Cabal. I see a beast pen. Honestly, I should have done the other. I shouldn't have done the answer to Black Fight Dragon Fight Club, to be honest with you. It's a hype. We're just rating the super jar. That's not what we're here for. We're not doing that place or something. Alright, here we go, Clean. Game no.
Uh, you want to talk about brutal as hell. Kano's fatal blow is like the epitome of brutal. Really shanks your ass, steps on the knife from when he shanks you. Step on your face, kick your ribs, step on the shank again on your stomach, then take another shank out of nowhere and, and just like step on your throat. That was worse. That's actually better than his fatalities. I'll give that a 9.5. I love Kano's actually. Kano's actually nice. Alright, we got the ball. Uh, Cabalgus, I like I like Cabal's a lot. Cabal is like a um, a good 8.5. I like Cabal's a lot. The way he just uses his speed and then chops you up at like wind pace, bruh. And then uses the hooks that the, the bones like stick you with him and then come up from your chin up to your mouth and then slam you, bruh. That shit nice. I'm a huge fan of Cabal in the game. He's one of my top play favorites. Who came? Get Tana. Boyfriend versus girlfriend. Shaolin Trap Dungeon. Alright, we got Luke Kang. Here we go. Chosen one, Luke Kang. All right, Luke Haynes. I give Luke Haynes a nine. I like Luke Haynes a lot too. Like they should have saved the one inch punch for his um fatal blow, honestly, instead of his like fatality. He should have done something with the dragon in his, like something more cooler. I know he had fatalities with the dragon in the past, but doing something more cooler with the dragons for his fatality. But yeah, that's a nine. I like Luke Haynes. All right, All right Katana. All right, there's a lot of more negative about this fatal blow than positive. Katana, she used the she used the 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 um the fans for like stabbing more than using them for. They're actually for that she actually has a purpose with. Honestly, it's really a six. It's, it's mid. She bounced off. It doesn't make sense how the man just bounced off the damn ground pop back up and then she stabbed him in the neck then right back down on the ground and stabbed him again in the back of the head it doesn't make sense honestly katana really doesn't make sense and it's kind of like man it's kind of big but i don't like katana like that i like her mk 10 10s better honestly Kung Lao. Uh, Kung 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 Lao <laughs> Kung Lao now. Oh my god. Oh my god. You talking about it? Okay. We're gonna do this actually. Kung Lao. Oh my God, that bro, that fatal, that fatal blow right there. Now that's a fatal blow. You talking about grinding your opponent from the back and the front, bro, with the hat. It makes use of the hat, makes use of what his character is, makes use of the cockiness, and make use of how like great Kung Lao actually is character-wise, because he does not get enough credit for what he actually is as a character. I give Kung Lao's a good, I give Kung Lao's a 10. I like Kung Lao's a lot. Oh, let's go ahead. Way up. Jay. All right, y'all. Y'all talking about mid. I'm talking about this one. This one. The, the best part of the fatal is pretty much when she goes behind you and slashes your back open with the damn boom, the um freaking uh, boomerang, bro. That was the best part. Everything else, most of the fatal blow was just mid. 
Which really is a, that, that's actually the lowest rated fatal blow we done did so far. This is like a four. I do not like Jay. They could have done something better for my girl Jay. Not, and it's a shame for me to say that because I love Jay. It's crazy, man. They thought they were doing something with making Jay's like Jay's on fatal like that, but they won't. I right, got Robocop. Uh, Robocops are, I like Robocops. Robocops are good. He's a good 9.5. I like Robocops a lot. Makes use of what he does and make use of him shaking you and using his own um, machine to just blow you up. Honestly, you would be eviscerated if you were a normal ass human being, of course, bro. I don't know how she got up after that, but it's Mortal Kombat. It's a 9. I'll give it a 9.5. I like it. It's crazy, though. Scarlet. Scarlet, I give Scarlet, Scarlet's a good, um, Scarlet's a good 8.5 for me. I like how she incorporates the blood. She made use of the, um, I like how they made use of what the character's blood actually looks like and use it actually in the fatal blows and it's not red and stuff like that because robocops is a robot so yeah i like that i like how they did that hers is a good nine a good eight actually 8.5 yeah it's good it's really it's good aaron black aaron black oh he's that damn character Lost Hive of the Titan. All right, we got the cowboy in black. Aaron black, we do a fast thing. Black, my guy, bro. The coolest thing about this character is, is like the signature moves, the super moves, pretty much the fatal blow or the air tray, whatever you want to call it. This is a, this is pretty much a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a nine, but it's not a ten, but it's a nine point five. It's, it's damn near perfect. I actually like it. To be honest with you, the way he incorporates his guns and it's flashy as fuck. Really, Aaron Black always been flashy with his signature moves, really. But. Here we go with this damn character again. The boy. Three. I do not like it at all. It just she all she does is just stabs you and kicks you back down. That's all she really does, but I like the MK10 actually. Um, X-ray better than this. She uses her actually her insects more than anything. She just stabbed it the whole time. In this game. Alright, we got Shiva. Shiva. Tournament. All right, Kodo. All right, what's deducting points from this super, bro? This this fatal blow is that when he could have done something with his sunlight or something, like that last part, it starts off good, but it just ends like it's like Baraka. It just ends bad. 
Like, it's kind of mid with the totem just dropping on the sword. Like, why would just do something with your sunlight or something like ours instead of just dropping a damn random total? It's like lazy. But I give I give totals like a seven point five to eight. It's like this this straight, man. It's not just that's what's deducting points from me, really. Not to be rant like you know rambling. Uh, Shiva's is a um, 6.5. Really, it's the same thing. She doesn't incorporate anything about her brute strength. Like, she just uses that shield, really. She's really not known for using the shield. She could have incorporated something with her brute strength, bro, her fire. She does got fire as well. So, yeah, I'll give it a 6. Rambo. The Terminator. And I'm being barely, bi I'm really being barely biased, y'all. I'm just gonna be serious. I'm, I'm this, this is gonna be my. Every answer I'm telling you is how I really think about these fatal blows. I even got with you. I forgot Rambo. Are you talking about visually cool ass fatal blow? This is the epitome of it. Rambo uses all his weaponry, other than pretty, other than the LMG. He just uses his uh, arrows, knife, and he uses his survival instinct. So it's pretty good. In the last part, that's what I'm talking about. You talking about a good start and a good ending? Rambo's is what is it? Is what it is. Rambo's is like a good. It's not a 10, but it's not lower than a 9. So I'll give it a 9.5. It's good. Terminator. Get over here. All right. What gives it points, man? If, if, if it didn't have the smile and then get over here, it would probably have been a... Um, probably would have been a seven but that gave it points so it's it's pretty much a nine i give it a nine it's not a 9.5 or a 10 but it's a nine it's great i like the scorpion reference in that too really. gears okay, gears collector the hourglass And guys, I put I put my my explanation in it so y'all know why I choose like the rate that I, I give it. I ain't gonna just give you a rate and not explain it. So that's why I do stuff. I do stuff for a reason. Get ready. Alright, yo, I like how his old stick is pretty much the stop time and it pretty much reversed it. Beat your ass and then knock you back to where your ass was. Gears is like, I like he uses his abilities and I like how he uses his stick. So that gives him a good, that gives him a good 10. I like Gears' a lot, honestly. I really do. I really do. Collector. All right, the fact that the fatal blow is better than his fatalities. And he really goes in brutally on the back, bro. Literally, I don't understand how, well, Garrus is eternal, so he can't die. But I don't understand how actually any other character in the game can survive by that. But that's a, I give, based on the brutal factor, I give it a 9.9, .9, pretty much rounded up to a 10. Queen, Melina. Empress, Tara, shit. Uh, 
Alright. Daughter versus mother. Cinder. Okay. Sindel got a Sindel's like a good seven point five. I like Sindel. And um the way she incorporates her hair, which is a stick with her power, her magic, and a quando, which is her like staff blade. I like it. It's a good seven point five. Seven point five is good, eight is great, nine is perfect, and ten is amazing. So I'm going that's how I'm going by this show. If y'all wanna ask me. Melina. Are you talking about one of my favorite, like my one of my favorite female, like fatal blows in the game? Melina got it because it takes the brutal factor too. Like the, the the it breaks the brutal factor by its core. Really, I give Melina's like a nine point nine to a ten, honestly. So let me round that up to a ten. That's actually nice. I love Melina in this game too. She's actually my favorite character, female wise. Fujin. All right, we got Miss Elder Guy, second round. Meaning that Cetrion's the elder god and she's an elemental pretty much goddess. I like how she incorporates all of her abilities into this fatal blow, which gives it some points. So I give Cetrion's an eight. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. My man's Fusion, one of my favorite characters. All right, now Fujin uses, he used everything but his like wind power really to start. The only thing wind wise he used was the start up to the Vader blow and pretty much to rise up with the sword, sword um, strike. So other than that, I give Fujin a 7.5. It's, it's kind of eh, it's kind of eh, it's kind of upper mid. So it's all right, that makes sense. Nah, I'm just doing range, but with another character. I'm gonna do range. But... Do range versus raiding. I did right. I'm not doing range, y'all. I'm just doing range. I already did raiding. So I'm gonna do this at the end. Rain's actually one of my favorite characters as well. All right, you got ring. All right, now, I give Reigns about, I give Reigns a 10. I like Reigns a lot. He incorporates a lot of his elements and pretty much he can turn anything into a weapon out of water. So he used that and he turned, turned the water into like, Kind of like blades and stick through Raiden five times. Pretty cool. And he uses the kick, he uses kicks a lot, so I get range of ten. I like range a lot. I'm gonna go back and we're gonna view, we're gonna report the whole rating system from when I went through. All right, y'all. So these are my top favorite. I'm gonna give y'all my top five. We give them all my top ones, and I'm gonna give y'all my worst ones. That I don't like. Top ones I would say is Rain, Rambo, Kano, uh, like Scorpion, Kun Lao, Liu Kang, and Jax and Spawn. The top 
five worst, the five, top five worst is, well, Kano was one of the top two. Top five worst is Katana. Shiva, Jay, Cassie. Night Wolf was kind of like, kind of mid too. Oh, and Baraka. So those are the top worst. Well, yeah, you guys, I appreciate y'all for viewing my content. I got shorts in there. I got Gotham Knights, got a war, Mortal Kombat, of course, as I'm doing right now, Tekken 7. And I got some more streams coming for you guys, some more videos coming. I appreciate y'all for viewing this video. This has been Titan TV 2.0, rating the supers. Got some more rating the supers coming for you guys. And yes, man, peace. Yes, man. Nah.